Hey guys, I'm back today with another video. Of course, if you are new to my channel, please make sure you hit the subscribe button and also turn those notifications on if you are already subscribed so you don't miss out on any of my videos. So this unit is brought to you by the company Y Wigs. I have reviewed for them before. If you haven't seen the videos, I tried to leave like a card or link them down below. But I wanted to kind of talk through this video since I am unboxing it right here on camera. But this is what the box is looking like. You get this little nice black box. And they also do send a drawstring bag. I'm not sure exactly where that's at. But if you have seen the previous videos I have done for Wild Wigs, it always comes in like a little drawstring bag that you can kind of keep in after you are done wearing the unit. All right, so in the box, it does come with a wig cap. And it also comes with the return and exchange policy. So guys, before you cut the lace off your unit with any company, please make sure that you are wanting the wig <laughs> if it doesn't look like something or you are unsure with it do not cut the lace off please don't um so in the box also it does come with this elastic band and i'm not sure let me see oh so it does come with these little clips so i'm assuming that it does have a spot for the removable adjustable strap and then the unit that I will be showing you guys is their full lace wig. This one is a 16 inch um, natural color and it is a straight length. You guys know I really don't too much do straight lengths on my channel. Straight lengths. Straight wigs on my channel, but you guys have been enjoying them. So yeah. And um, also I'm reading right here. It says that this does come with six inches of parting space in the front. And then it is going to have a medium cap color. So this is the unit right here. I don't know if I've already said it, but this is 150% in density. And to me, it looks like it's a good weight. And then the hairline does look pre-plucked right here. And then this is the cap construction. You get your two combs on the side, a comb in the back, and your adjustable straps. And you also get the tabs where you add the elastic band and I don't know does that look bleached let's see let's see if they bleach these knots they do look lightly bleached so one thing that I do notice offhand is even though that this is full lace it still gives you six inches of parting space because not all companies have the full lace and the six inches of parting space like they'll call it full lace but it's still like wefted in the back so every company's cap construction is different. It does look like Y Wigs has added some adjustments to theirs. So what I'm gonna do before I start to style, I'm gonna put this on and cut the lace off in the back because you do get lace in the back. I'm gonna cut the lace off of this and um, add the elastic band adjustments on and then I'll come back and show you guys. This is what the unit looks like on and I haven't done anything to it. The hairline already came like this with these little hairs in the front. I'm just gonna brush it out. And this is the 16 inches. And I'm actually happy that I picked a shorter length because some of the straight units that I have been reviewing have been like long. So I just wanted to see how this cap was going to feel. So this is fitting me snug to my head. I don't remember the cap size they sent, but I'll make sure because it didn't say it on the package. But I'll make sure to um, leave the details down below once again. So yeah. Now the baby hairs, you can definitely, you already know. You do not have to <laughs> wear these baby hairs, but it looked like they tried to go ahead and freestyle it for you. Um, you can cut them down shorter. Or if you want to walk out the house like this and you're comfortable, then you do you, sis. You do you. But the pre cut hairline looks... I'm really good so far. Let's look what this parting space is looking like. Okay. So, parting space does look good. Like I said, it looks like they lightly bleached the knots. The knots aren't big at all. And like I said, you do get um, six inches of parting space. I'm so undecided on how I want to part this wig I might end up doing a right side and just kind of do like a small bump at the end now this hair what I'm noticing is also is that 
the ends aren't like super thin. I'm gonna have to make sure I flat iron it first before I say that because this is just out the box. But the ends aren't like super, super thin. And it looks like a good density so far. Um, this is straight out of the box, so I have not washed it, of course. But I'm gonna go ahead and cut the lace off. I'm gonna have to move these hairs out the way. I'll probably end up cutting around them. But I'm gonna go ahead and cut the lace off and just kinda style it to my liking. And then, of course, you guys will hear and see the final results of this unit. Here guys, I'm just making sure to cut off the lace and moving those shorter hairs out of the way because I do not want to cut them. And I'm making sure everything is just lined up to my head. Now one thing that I noticed is I did not have to go around by my ear and cut any extra lace off. It fit me and lined up perfectly. And the elastic band is comfortable on this unit. Sometimes with those removable adjustable elastic bands depending on where it is set up on the wig they can be very uncomfortable at times but this one is not uncomfortable now i'm just going to kind of place my part where i want it to be and i did decide to do a curved part and then once i set it where i want it to be i am going to go ahead and cut those hairs down shorter and i am going to use them of course you guys know like i always say you don't have to use them but i'm going to use them today and i will be using the she is bomb fuse foam and i am going to just set my wig this she is bomb um, fuse foam it works really well it has a very nice smell to it and the foam is not too thick but it's not thin and watery either and a lot of people always ask me can they wear their wigs glueless you can wear all of your wigs glueless um, it's just about not putting glue on and just making sure the wig is fitted to your head so using this fuse foam is definitely helping to kind of mold everything down now it is not a long-term solution like gel glue or the freeze spray but it's definitely going to keep it on for the time that you need it on after i'm done with that i'm going to go ahead and tie on my wig grip and let it set for a little bit once it has dried down, then I take my edge brush and then I just kind of comb over it using that little bitty comb just to kind of make everything look soft. And then I'm going to go in with my Care Care Wax Stick and I'm going to work on flattening out the top. Now this is a straight unit, so you guys always know when I am wearing a straight unit, I need the top of this unit to lay very, very flat. So I know that I'm speeding this up a little bit. It's because I don't want the video to be too long. Um, the last couple of videos I've been doing have been a little bit longer in length. So I still want to be able to give you guys as much info as possible, but I also not make the videos like super lengthy. So it took me a while to flatten out the top of this unit because there was definitely a good amount of density at the top, but this is what the unit looks like before I add any heat to it. And I wasn't sure if I wanted to add a slight bump, which I will end up doing towards the end. But right here, I am just going to use my Kaposi flat iron and I'm just going to straighten this hair. Of course, you guys already know, or if you are new to my channel, when I straighten my straight hair, my silky straight hair. I do not like to put it on the highest heat setting because I like to have a little bit of texture to the unit. Um, now on this side, you guys can see right there, it looks a little bit shorter in the back. So I was a little bit concerned on if it was all going to be the same length. Um, but once I pulled out some of those extra pieces, it did look a little bit longer like the other side, but I'm not sure why that little short piece was there in the back. Okay, 
am done straightening the hair and getting it how I want it to be, then I'm gonna go in with my Garnier Fructis Sleek and Shine Serum. I did notice a little bit of frizziness, not too many flyaways, but definitely a little bit of frizziness. Now I'm just gonna go in with my Ruby Kisses 3D Contour Creator Powder Palette in the color light medium, and I'm going to place a little bit into the parting space and also a little bit into the hairline just to make it blend better with my skin. So after I was done putting my powder in, I felt like it just needed a slight bump at the front just to kind of give it a little bit more body. And then I'm just going to take my Glam Force spray and then I'm going to spray it on my comb and then run it at the top of the unit. And then this is the final outcome of how the hair is looking. Now it definitely is a good density. Like I said, this is 150% in density and for it to be a full lace wig, I feel like it really looks good because some full lace wigs, even at 150% in density, they look very thin what the back of the unit looks like. This is what the 16 inches is hitting like on me. I'm only 5'2". You can get this wig all the way up to 22 inches and then 10 inches is the shortest you can go. This is what it looks like in a ponytail right here. And I feel like it looks really nice. Now, my only con was that very short piece on that one side because it wasn't on the other side, but it was just on that one side. As far as the parting space and the hairline goes, the hairline on this is bomb and the parting space looks really good. They give you six inches of parting space, which is really nice for a full lace unit. And you have a lot of versatility with it. And you will not have to bleach your knots on this unit. You guys seen this was straight out of the package. I really didn't do too much work to it to get it to look this good. And of course we all want those units where we don't have to go in and do too much work to make it look really flawless. On the website, I do see that you can get this unit in just the lace front version, or you can also upgrade it to the full lace version like I have. And I also did not try to throw any curls in this except for what you guys seen. But on the website, I do see that Trendy K also reviewed this wig and she threw some loose curls in this unit. So guys, let me know what you were thinking about this wig. I think that is actually pretty besides that one little con I had, which is the shorter pieces in the back. I think it looks really good, especially for somebody who wants something that looks natural and they want something for every day without having to do too much to it. If you are feeling this unit, I'll make sure to leave all the links down below in the description area. Guys, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, turn those notifications on, share and like this video, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.